Have you ever been stressed at school? Has there ever been a moment in time where you have been stressed, worried, your mental health is starting to deplete because of school? If there has been a single moment where you have been stressed due to things at school or things up with family or things at work, if there's ever been a moment where you are stressed, then there is one secret, one thing that I can reveal to you, something that I have learned from my own experience on being self-improvement for nearly two years now. Something I've learned that's helped me overcome stress and it's salt. First things first, how are you? I hope things have been good and I, I hope you've been alright. You see, I've learned a lot from over the years of being on self-improvement now. And there is one channel that I've learned a lot from. A scientist, uh, he has his own podcast, he, it's known as the Huberman Lab. Now he is very smart, he explains so many, so many things and like the science behind things, which I obviously don't understand, but I understand where he's getting at. The reason why we feel certain things. And the reason why we feel stressed and how we can counter react to that stress. And it's salt, or more specifically, sodium. Now what I've learned is that there is a direct link from the glutocordoid, I definitely didn't pronounce that right, system and the salt craving system. Now both are systems in our brain, in our body. Now if our sodium levels, which is basically salt, bearing in mind that salt actually only has like 33% of it is sodium, I think, or that some, a certain amount of salt is actually sodium, but when our sodium levels are quite low, our ability, our body's ability to combat stresses is reduced. So when you are feeling anxious, worried, stressed, slightly increasing our sodium intake, just a small tiny bit throughout your day, can help you, your body, combat these stresses, can help you deal with this stress. So that's the science behind how salt sodium can help you reduce your stress or more importantly combat and deal with stress because you can't get rid of stress out of your life that's impossible it's like getting rid of all the dangers in your life you just can't do that there are always going to be things that make you stress however there are ways that you can deal with it better so how do we actually use salt see there's something i do every single morning see i have this sort of like himalayan salt like a bunch of little kind of big chunks they're quite big chunks of little Himal Himalayan salt in this sort of jar that's quite sodium dense so it has a little bit more sodium than other salts like table salt and when I wake up in the morning when I go drink water because obviously your body's super thirsty you've been asleep for a couple hours you need to get water in your system you need to get hydrated I grab a little chunk of salt and I just put it underneath my tongue I put it underneath my tongue I let it sit there for a bit and then I'll grab a glass of water and I'll drink water at the same time as it's dissolving. Now, there are actually two reasons to why I do this. Now, the first one was mentioned by Andrew Huberman in the Huberman Lab podcast, which is slightly more sodium. A slightly more intake of sodium can help your body deal with stress. But another thing that he mentioned, not in the same video, in another video, is that it can make you feel more hydrated. You see, your body needs to be hydrated. We all know this. We all know that our body is craving to be hydrated. However, there is a way to make it slightly more hydrated. When you drink water in the morning, that tiny bit of salt acts like a catalyst, which basically speeds up the reaction and speeds up the process of your body getting hydrated, of your body's blood getting more hydrated. Your body's unconscious craving for sodium, for salt, has a direct relationship with your body's ability to deal with stress, with the stress hormones. This tiny little change can help you. Even if it's ever so slightly, it can help you slightly deal with stress a little bit better than what it, you currently are right now. And I know a lot of my audience is young, which means a lot of you are probably going through college, going through uni. And I know that that is unbelievably stressful. GCCs are stressful, it's being so pressured to do well so you can get into the college that you choose. And then you go through college and it's the same process. A-levels, 
are so stressful. They're harder, more difficult. Yeah, it's only three subjects, but they are so much, so much harder, so much more in depth, so much pressure from your college, from your family to do well in those exams so you can get into the uni of choice. And then you've got to go through all of that process by yourself, choosing what you need to go to, doing all the student loans that you have to get to get into uni. You know, when you do your mock exams and you get your A-levels, your mock A-level like results, you've got to put them in and send them to the uni you want to get a year before to save a place. It is stressful. It's so stressful. Any any little bit of help to deal with the stress is a bonus for you. And after being on self-improvement for two years and doing this habit for over a year, I can definitely tell you it helps. A slightly increased amount of sodium in your body can help your body deal with stress. So just go on Amazon, buy some Himalayan salt that's more sodium dense, and then every single morning, just get a little chunk, put it underneath your tongue. Let it dissolve and drink water. Not only will you feel more hydrated, but you'll be able to deal with stress in your current life a lot better. Another little bonus that has helped me a lot is nature. Spending 30 minutes every single day in nature has hugely helped me deal with stress. Just helps you take a little moment to take a breather, relax. I hope you've been good. And I hope things have been alright for you. And in the next few weeks, I'll be creating a community on the website known as School. Now, keep an eye out for this because if you like me, you like my content, but you want to see more of me, you want to have more personalized videos, requests for experiences and videos that I can make for you, and a community where you can ask for other people for their advice as well. I will be having a community on the website school coming out within the next few weeks. I haven't sorted it out yet, so for now, I would be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner here, because this video could help you out. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, come here. Self-improvement kiss. Mwah.